Does the new Lego Technic Ferrari fit on a Billy shelf? Yes. Yes, it does. Just barely, though. You've got to remove the side mirror from the interior there. But it does fit. Perfect. Hey, everybody. What's going on? Welcome back. It's Jordan here. Today, we're going to be doing a few different things. We're going to be unboxing all of this mail here. Some of it is stuff that I ordered. Some of it is random fan mail. Some of it came from the Lego group. Some of it came from Bricklinks. There's all sorts of different cool stuff there. But first, before we do that, we've got to go on a little road trip here throughout Edmonton. And we've got to go to our second OBGYN appointment. That's fun. And on that journey, we're also going to go to one of our favorite Bricklinkers and pick up a massive Bricklink order that we placed because we ordered a whole bunch of parts and pieces here to fuel the projects in the Lego city. So we finished up at the OB, or the kid's heartbeat, and it's right by Southgate. So we're gonna go check out the Lego store. La 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 bamba. Hey, look at that, they got Starry Night in the front window. I forgot that it's actually Starry Night Day. That's the day that we're here. This is like the new issue day for VIPs. Checking out the Lego store, it turns out that they still have two promos on right now. If you spend 200 bucks here in Canada, you're gonna get both of those promos. They've got some awesome sets in, such as the McLaren F1 car. Haven't seen that in a while. Also, they have the Titanic. Keep in mind, this is the Southside store, so I'm not here very often. They had a whole plethora of Starry Night sets. And I was surprised to see R2-D2 on Damage Box Special, where you get $50 in VIP points back that can be redeemed on future purchases. Same with Ninjago City Gardens, but that box is absolutely destroyed. There's a bunch of other ones too, including Camp New. And check this out, they had all 12 Muppets minifigures in this awesome display. Oh my gosh, I almost wanna buy that display. Like, how do you build that? I think they built it like using some of the art panels and most of the stuff off the pad wall, but it displays them beautifully. And check out the two guys on the right there. Pretty cool way of displaying Waldorf and Statler. It really does remind me of the Muppets vision 3D ride at Disney World. On the pad wall, not much there. Actually, it was half empty. We had some sand blue one by two bricks and also some one by one tiles. In the build a minifig section, I almost wanted to make a chicken suit guy army because they had the headpiece or like the headpiece accessory, I guess, to make a chicken suit guy. Also, they had these awesome two by three brick torsos. So, of course, we ended up getting two promos. One does not simply go to the Lego store when there's promos on and not pick up a couple, hey? So we got this one here. Perfect. And also the cardboard adventure. Little Lego idea set. Very cool. And we picked up a Vincent Van Gogh Starry Night. Not for me, but for my father-in-law. We use his VIP card, but we get the promos. It's not bad. And then I went to the Nespresso store. I got my favorite one. We got Intenso, Melozio, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Audacio, I believe it is. And the last one is Stormio. So they're like different intensities. One's nine, one's eight, one's seven, and one's six. So depending on what kind of mood I'm in, we can arrange the right coffee. Very cool. So we're gonna go to uh, Toys R Us too because that's on, a, on the way to pick up our Bricklink order. Uh, and then we're also gonna go to the P.O. Box and then we'll open up all that stuff at home as well. There's a nice view. Look at that bridge approaching downtown Edmonton. Woo! Actually a pretty good looking skyline, isn't it? Assets acquired. All right, let's see if the Lego gods are with us today here at Toys R Us. These are not Lego, but like, look at this. Hot Wheels is making building kits now you got the bone shaker and the roger dodger purple passion and also the street rotter i guess like hot wheels is like we gotta get up on this lego game you know wow that's crazy we got the 18 plus department here i think the next helmet to retire from the star wars lineup is going to be boba fett and then i also saw these 30 percent off at the lego store the other day so i think those could potentially retire as well generally when lego goes on sale at the lego store you know that they could potentially be retiring relatively soon. They've got loads of these right now and they also have pretty much a full selection of Harry Potter. Three in one stuff, Lightyear, Superheroes in Star Wars, Speed Champions, Technic, Ninjago, and City. But ultimately nothing's on sale and that's like the fourth time in a row that we've went there and there's nothing on sale. 
I don't like this new trend. I don't like it at all. Now that we're home from our little road trip here, let's do some unboxing. So I'll show you what we got uh, in this little brick link order there. Uh, when we unbox all of our parts. So let's start with uh, some of these mystery packages. This one's a mystery to me. Uh, these ones I know what they are, but uh, we get a little bit of mystery stuff happening here. Let's start with this little letter. The first one here is from Joseph. It's quite the letter. I'm going to read this on my own time. Thank you so much, Joseph, uh, for the letter. We appreciate it. Also, it looks like he sent us a USA flag patch. And Joseph, I just finished reading your letter, man. Thank you so much for the kind words. I'm glad that we helped you out during a, a tough time there. And very touching story. I now know that this flag here, you know, represents something extremely important. And I appreciate it, man. Thank you. It's a very touching story. And, and I, I appreciate the kind words in the letter, man. That's awesome. Thanks. This one here came from Chase. I have no idea what this is. Huh. It's like a booklet of some sort. Uh, huh, I don't know. It says, hey, I know you sell on BrickLink, so here are some cool mailers. May the build be with you. <laughs> hey, that's cool. May the build be with you. It's just like literally envelopes with the Stormtrooper on it. <laughs> that's cool. That is something completely random. Thank you, Chase. Appreciate it. I did not expect that. <laughs> okay, this one here was sent to us by Nathaniel. He's an Oilers fan. He said, let's go Oilers on the top. I agree. Let's go Oilers. At this particular point in time right now, uh, we are 3-0 and in the second round of playoffs. Oh, that's cool. He's packaged it in a Lego box. All right, all right. Oh, we've got a letter here, too. Boom! I don't think that's what's in there though. Based on the Lego noise that it's making, I know what's in there. Nathaniel helped me out with uh, a project recently and hooked up some pieces from the pad wall. So thanks, man. He said, I just thought I would include a letter with the pieces that we uh, put together for you. Nathaniel also says that I introduced him into hockey, which is really cool. And he checks the scores every day. And he even memorizes what stick every single Oilers player uses. That's crazy, man. He decided to cheer for the Oilers when he took a personality test. Uh, what NHL team should I cheer for? He says, I hope the birth of uh, Benjamin and Millie uh, goes smoothly and look forward to seeing them on the Brixies channel. And ever since he's joined our channel, he's met so many knowledgeable people. So it's pretty awesome. Let's just hope the Oilers win the Stanley Cup. Anyways, I hope you put the pieces to good use. So thanks, Nathaniel. I appreciate it, man. So Nathaniel had a wicked uh, pick-a-brick selection the other day, and he messaged me and he let me know. And he's like, do you want to get any cups? And I was like, if, if you want to do it, man, I'm definitely down. Thank you so much for thinking of me. And he absolutely loaded this up with some pretty awesome pieces that are going to go toward uh, building the platform covering in the uh, Lego City and also go toward building facades and stuff like that in the Lego City. And they're none other than Light bluish gray masonry bricks. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Pretty awesome. So we got a mountain of light bluish gray masonry bricks. Woo! They're like, they may as well be gold. They may as well be gold, Nathaniel. Thank you, dude. Much appreciated. We'll add that to the part side of the table over here. Ugh. Oh no, one fell on the ground. <laughs> okay, so this is part that I ordered, and we're going to show you that. With this here, we can get a more up close and personal view of that. I think this is parts. Isn't this parts? Oh no, that's right. I did somebody a favor and uh, <laughs> I was sent this set for doing them such favor. What that favor is, I cannot tell you, uh, but this is the trash compactor and it's not for sale. I already have this one. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. <laughs> I sort of knew that I was gonna get it, but then I saw the shelf and I was like, oh man, I gotta get that myself. So I, I picked it up. So I forgot that there was a, uh, a spare trash compactor on road. Hey, it looks good right there on shelf. There we go. Uh, this one showed up directly from the Lego group. I have no idea who sent this, but it showed up right at our PO box. I don't know who it's from. So I, I think there's sets in here, I think. 
Maybe there's a letter. Okay, here's the uh, note. Maybe it says who it's from real quick. It says Ritbune? Okay, let's... I'm not sure. Ah, oh, it's Duplo! Oh, it's for the twins! That's what it's for! Oh, cool! Oh, no way! It's the new Buzz Lightyear one! <laughs> the twins got their first mail! Nice! It's the Buzz Lightyear set! <laughs> I love the, the Duplo Buzz! He's right here! <laughs> He's so funny! That's cool! Look at his uh, XL15 spaceship, too! Oh, you also got the cat, 37 pieces, and we got our kids their first Duplo set. There's also another one in here too, which is like the the unicorn. It's like a little train set. <laughs> right on, the kids got their first mail. That's awesome, thank you, I appreciate it. That's neat. The kids are gonna love it when they come of age, of course. You gotta be two years old to play with that, I think. That's what the packaging says anyway. Right on. Well, thank you, everybody. Let's check out these uh, bulk pieces that we got here from uh, Lego directly and also from Pick a Brick. Okay, so first off, you saw all the ridiculous amount of masonry bricks from Nathaniel. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. And then we got our uh, BrickLink order right here. And this BrickLink order is actually going to fuel a few different projects here. Let me just fix this camera a bit. There we go. Uh, so first off, it's going to fuel some of our art. We're going to be doing a really cool custom Mario art. So we got some studs for that Mario art. And then we've got some cheese wedges here in uh, dark gray and also in light gray. Those are going to go toward our custom cliff edges and mountains and stuff that we're building. And then in here, we have a whole bunch of goodness. So uh, this is going to build our art frame, right? These one by two modified bricks with the uh, the pin there. These are gonna go toward our wall in the Lego city for the coverings, our large cement walls. We need uh, four of those per plate, I believe. Then we've got all sorts of different gray slopes, two by two, uh, one by three, a whole giant bag of one by two. And we also got some Mickey tiles. Jose says she wants more Mickey tiles, so we got some of those. And then some snot bricks as well so that we can add plants and stuff to the walls going on the platform covering and then also some panels so that we can build those light gray walls. So all of that stuff is going to go toward creating awesome mountains like this here so that they look spectacular like that, not like this, or also create the walls just like that there. The snot bricks used to put the vines on them, those arches, and then also the gray brick and the masonry brick to add some texture and detail. Okay, so I've made a mess here. Oh, there's also some one by one bricks just because we were out of them. We keep running out of those and also some large black tile, or sorry, plates, uh, because those go toward creating the frame for the custom art. So we need more of those apparently. Jose is the wonderful person that puts all these orders together. So that's awesome. We got one more package here to open up as well. Now we place this order in conjunction with the Year of the Tiger promo. Yes, that's how long it took to get here. Oh yes, finally, we finally got these. These are our one by two tiles. So now we can finally, uh, I just said finally three times, but we can uh, finally cover the uh, exposed studs on either side of the sewers. And then Jose wanted to get uh, some of these corner doors here. Thought those would be pretty cool to create some modular buildings with. Looks like uh, she's got all sorts of other stuff here too. This is once again to help us with our sidewalks in the city. She's, she's got some curved white fences there, some uh, yellow pieces here, I believe, to make hay for the farm whenever we get around to building that. And all sorts of other stuff. I don't know what half of this stuff is for. What? These were on the pad wall. <laughs> I saw these on the pad wall the other day. But yeah, just uh, some miscellaneous stuff here of all different types. Oh, I know that these are going to be used, these one by one studs with the hole. They're gonna be used to uh, upgrade our street lamps. Okay, but finally, we're gonna be able to fill all of these exposed studs. You see that on either side of the vent? I know, those have been like on order since like, I think January of 2022, and they're finally here in May of 2022, the end of May, isn't that crazy? Yeah, finally our one by two tile showed up, so that's good. Okay, I better clean up my mess. I got Lego and stuff all over the ground. Oh my gosh, what the heck? <laughs> There's Lego everywhere. We're actually about to live stream. We're about to build some Disney stuff and some Harry Potter stuff. And I'm gonna show you that in this video today. But there is our mess of parts. Holy cow. 
Now it's essential that we get these sorted and allocated to their projects so that they just don't go by the wayside and they were ordered for no good. I mean, these, oh yeah, once again, these are gonna help us do the curves, right? On the sidewalks, you see how they're like that sharp angle there? So they need to be curved like uh, this here. See that? It looks a lot better, right? So these finally showed up and we ordered these once again in conjunction with those one by two tiles back in January when we started converting to mills. Absolutely insane. These are the four sets that we decided to build today. And let me tell you, they're gems. I like these little brick heads over here. These are awesome. So two sets of Disney brick heads. We've got Chip and Dale from the Rescue Rangers. I really like Dale. He's got the Hawaiian shirt two by four print piece, which is awesome. And then Chip has the nice hat there. But I prefer Dale just because he actually comes with two of those print pieces there. Then we've got Woody and Bo Peep. Both of them come with nice print pieces. Like look at Woody's right there. Very cool. You can see his gold belt buckle there too. The whip and his nice hat there. And then look at that. Toilet seat on the back there to represent uh, the pole string, right? And then we've got Bo Peep right here. Fantastic sculpting on Bo Peep. I love the bow. She's got the nice print piece there. And the cape coming around the back there as well. And just the nice hair with like the bonnet. Very cool brickheads. Definitely nice additions to the brickhead collection. Then we uh, created two of the Hogwarts moments. So we've got Defense Against the Dark Arts. You got Mad Eye Moody, Hermione, and Neville Longbottom. And then we got the Divination, where you get uh, Trelawney, Povarty, and also Harry Potter. I love the Professor Trelawney. A fantastic minifigure. Like, look at all of the print detailing on the torso, on her face, and the hairpiece. Absolutely awesome. Also, just like the uh, CMF version of Mad Eye, you can actually change him into Barty Crouch. So you can just flip his head the other way. Then you got Barty Crouch Jr. there, right? <laughs> Change the hair up. <laughs> just the creepy minifigure of Barty Crouch. That's so cool. He's got some awesome print detailing. Other than that, like the kids or the students, pretty average minifigures. It's not like we haven't seen anything like those before, but the Trelawney and the uh, Mad Eye, pretty cool. So we display our Hogwarts moment sets as books. So we just keep them closed like this here. The covers are all print. So you've got the fence cover there, the dark mark and all the different symbols and stuff on there. And then you've got uh, divination. Really cool print pieces, right? And then you can also open them up just like this here and all the goodies and all the stuff just sort of gets packed away inside the book. And you can like take all this stuff out and you can create like a little scene using all of the stuff. Like there's an armchair. Uh, these can like, once you remove all the stuff, these can like fold out, right? And you've got all sorts of scenes and stuff happening in the inside, represented by different sticker elements and different mini builds that can all be stowed away in the book. So it's pretty neat. All these mini builds can just sort of come out and you can create your own little, you know, Hogwarts moment of that classroom, which is pretty cool. And there's like a nice owl piece there. And my favorite Easter egg from the Defense Against the Dark Arts one is actually the Mad-Eye Moody trophy fig, or Mad-Eye Moody trophy fig, sorry, right there in the crate. And that's a pretty cool crate element there, right? So pretty cool little sets, that's for sure. So everybody, thank you so much for popping on by. Highly appreciate it. A uh, little shopping experience there. We also got our first Duplo sets for the kids. So thank you everybody for all the fan mail and everything as well. Built some cool sets and just had some fun around the Lego room. Gonna place uh, those little textbooks with the other ones and reconfigure our brick head stands and, and whatnot just to get those guys all integrated there and just continue working on the Lego City with all of our new parts as well. Super exciting and uh, I can't wait to continue with that. Thank you so much for popping on by. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Farewell.